Hello, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, hello. teacher. How are you today? Good teacher. Good, 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 good. How was your day today? Was it good, mm -hmm. bad, so so? A little tired. A little oh, tiring. Right? It was good, you say. Okay. People, did you finish your registration for the next module? ¿Ya terminaron su registro para el módulo siguiente? Yes or no? You haven't done it? Yes? Yes, I did, says Ruth. Yes, I did. Okay, so if you haven't done it, you receive the, the form in your WhatsApp chat. So please try to fill it up, okay? You have the information on your WhatsApp group. So please uh, send it, send the information. It is really important that you do it. Okay. Well, my dear students, yesterday we were working a lot on the past tense, right? We were working on different sentences and I assigned a little homework for you to work, right? I assigned a homework for you to work on uh, yesterday night. And I hope you have had the chance to finish. Did you finish working on the sentences? I received a couple of them. Thank you for the ones who sent it to me. Thank you for sending me the, the homework. I receive it and I was checking on the sentences and most of them were correct. So thank you for that. Let's see, I am going to share my screen with everybody, but I need to open some questions. Thank you very much for being on time. In some cases, I have to take a couple of minutes while I finish the other class, but I am always here. Let's see. You are very silent today. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué me les hicieron este día que vienen tan callo callado? <laughs> uh, I know, I know it's Friday. I know it's Friday, but un poquito mal de salud, teacher. Ay, yeah. Oh my God. You have to be very careful, people. My God, la gripe anda en todos lados. So you have to be very careful. Many people say, no, ya no me pongo mascarilla, Ush. Wear it, please, wear it. It will prevent not only COVID, but also the all this flu and all these respiratory illnesses. It helps a lot. Okay. Lo que pasa es que soy alérgico al, a como el polvo. Entonces uh, me tocó que, que limpiar una cosa y eso me... Me puso como un poquito tancado del pecho. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Ok, pero siempre, 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 siempre. Sí, sí, siempre. Póngase la mascarilla. Aunque, aunque ande medio limpiando algo. Please, wear it. That is going to protect you a lot from that. Mostly from the dust. Le va a proteger un montón aún hasta del polvo. So, try to, try to protect yourself. Well, let me get the questions because I want to practice some questions with you. And I already sent it to you. Ya se las habían mandado, pero las vamos a buscar para practicarlas. Here they are. I remember that I shared some past tense questions with you last week. And I need to open them because we will practice. We feel very sorry for Ellie that is sick. Okay, maybe they, it is going to open later. So let me share my PowerPoint then. Welcome to all the ones that are connecting. Welcome to all the others that are here now. So here we go. 
These are the sentences that I shared yesterday as a homework, right? What is the past tense of this first sentence that I have here, my dear students? Work. Jenny? Work. Work. Worked. Jenny worked at a work. hotel, right? Work. Work. Jenny worked at a hotel, right? Work. Jenny worked at a hotel. The next one, number 12. Jenny worked at a the next one, number two. Did you swim? Did you, Did you swim? Right. Did you swim? Number thirteen. We didn't like. We didn't, didn't. like. Like we didn't movie. like the movie, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't like the movie. Number 14. Where did you like? Where, Where did you live? Where did you live? Where did you live? The next one. Where did you live? The next one. Number 15. He, he didn't, didn't drink, drink tea. tea. He didn't drink tea. Drink tea. Right. He didn't drink tea. In this case, drink is normal, right? He didn't drink tea. Number 16. They started they class started. at eight. Uh-huh. What is the past they tense started. of a start? They started, they started they right? Started class at eight. Number 17. Did he did eat he breakfast? Did he Eat breakfast, very good. Number 18. I, I didn't run fast. I didn't run fast. Number 19. He had a car. He had a car, right? He had a car. Okay, and number 20. Did you, Did you enjoy, enjoy a sport? Car? Did you enjoy sports, right? Did you enjoy sports? Very good job. So that is the form of these sentences in the past tense. Here I have four different pictures. What did these people do yesterday? Based on the pictures, what did they do yesterday? We have Carol and Max. What did Carol do? And what did Max do? She. She. She read a book. She read what? She read she, a book. She read a book. What else? Book. She. Clean. She, she cleaned the house. She cleaned the house, cleaned right? The she house. cleaned the house. What else? She listened to music. She listened to music and she cooked. She cooked, she cooked right? She. she cooked. Very good. What about Max? She plays golf. She, she, no, he, 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 he played, he played, golf. He played oh. golf. What else? He walked. He walked. Walk. Where? In the park? Yeah. In the city? On the street? On the street. In he the walked street. on the street. In then the he. Street. Oh. He. he Watch he watched he TV. watched TV and he cooked. He, he cooked. cooked. Okay, and he cooked. Now comparing the two situations, what did Max do that Carol didn't do? For example, you can say Carol didn't, and you have to choose um. one of the activities that Max did. Carol didn't didn't play didn't golf. Play. Carol didn't play golf. And what about Max? Max didn't? Didn't read a book. Didn't. Max didn't, didn't, read, didn't read, read. Very good. Max didn't read a book. What about Carol? Another thing that she didn't do? She didn't walk. She didn't walk. She didn't walk, right? She didn't walk. And Max? 
and Max read. He didn't clean the house. He didn't clean the house, right? Hmm, I Max. <laughs> he didn't clean the house. Another thing that Carol did that Max didn't do. Mm. Carol did. didn't watch the movie. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you say Carol didn't. Didn't watch a movie. Carol no, watched the movie. TV. Okay, Carol didn't watch a movie or she didn't watch TV, right? She didn't watch TV. And let me see. And what about Max? Max didn't? Didn't listen. Max didn't play soccer. Play. <laughs> okay, Max didn't play soccer for sure. Max didn't play soccer. And I think Carol either. Okay, Suleim, <laughs> Suleimita. Oh, yeah, closet. We are here. We are going to say we are here, waiting for you. Okay, so in this case, I am going to ask questions. Did Max clean the house? No, he didn't. No, no, he didn't, right? No, he didn't. Did Carol play golf? No, no she, didn't. she didn't. No, she didn't. Did Carol cook? No, she did Carol cook? Cook. No, she cooked. No, she cooked. No, she didn't. No, no, she didn't. Cook. Yes, she did. Ah, yes. <laughs> did Carol cook? Yes, she did. Did yes, Max did. cook? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, so on your notebook, please write one affirmative, one negative, and one question about Carol and affirmative, negative, and interrogative about Max. On your notebook, go ahead. and interrogative on your notebook. When you have them, let me know. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher, buenas noches. Voy Hello, ingresando. Voy ingresando. <laughs> yes, yes. Eh, sí, leí que no, no le funcionaba el audio. Sí, sí. Ah. Ok. Eh, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, estamos creando oraciones basadas en las fotos. We have, for example, eh, Carol read a book. Carol cleaned the house. Carol listened to music. Carol cook. Max okay. play golf. Max walk on the park. Max watch TV and, Mar and Max cook food. And then you have to make a negative sentence and a question. Okay? Estamos creando afirmativas, negativas y preguntas acerca de lo que hicieron ellos. Tres eh, preguntas para acá, tres eh, oraciones para Carol. Affirmative, negative and interrogative. And three for Max. Affirmative, negative and interrogative. Okay? On your note. That's what we are doing right now. Eso estamos haciendo. And I am going to open here. If you want to share your sentences on the chat, you can do it. That would be perfect. Si las quieren enviar al chat, me las pueden enviar. That's perfect.
Carol made her homework early. Okay, in the case of homework, we use did. She did her homework. She did her homework early. Okay, good. Max didn't listen. Max didn't listen to music. Good, and Elizabeth, very good sentence. Okay, send me the rest. Hello, Suleyma. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Suleyma. Hello. Eh, eh, y se me olvidó. Y se me pasó la hora. Usted andaba ya por el parque viendo la luz. ¿verdad? Ay, no, qué galán. No, si es que si se fija, aquí estoy. ¿ve? Yeah, I know. I was, I was kidding, Suleyma. Ok, Suleyma. We are sí, creating digamos. we are creating sentences about the picture, right? On the picture, you have people doing different activities, right? You have yes. Carol, Carol reading, cleaning, listening to music, and cooking. So we are creating sentences in past tense. As you can see in the chat, we have some examples. You have to write an affirmative sentence with Carol. You can say Carol cleaned the house. Okay, Carol cleaned the house. That is an affirmative sentence. Then you can make a negative and you say Carol didn't uh, watch TV. Or you can you can do the same in negative. That's that's correct. Carol didn't clean the house. That's correct. Or and then you have to make a question. Did Carol clean the house? And then you have affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Okay, okay. did Carol clean the house? Okay, you yeah. have to create three. You have to create three for Carol and three for Max. That's what, what? we are doing. Thank you, Carlos Alberto, who was helping me there to complete the sentences. Juan Carlos, do you have your examples? No, teacher. Okay, let's work, let's work. Okay, okay. Raul Antonio, do you have your examples? Okay, I am going to open, I am going to open the board so you can write down your examples, okay? La pizarra está abierta, pueden tomar su lapicero ahí, virtual. O escojan el texto, and then you can write your sentences here. Ok. Activen su texto ahí, me pueden escribir sus oraciones en toda la pizarra. There you go. Okay, I have Liana there writing. Very good. <laughs> Yo creo que en el en el área de en el área de lápiz también tienen una que dice texto. If not, I will write the ones on the chat, okay? Si no la pueden escribir, escriban en el chat y la vamos a ir copiando. Ah, okay, you are on the on the phone. Okay. Ah, I made a mistake. Okay. That was the game that I sent. Thank you, Ruth. Pero ya lo hice, teacher. 
That's good. That's good. Great. Did Carol clean up what? Her house. <laughs> I love the whole night. Why? Charlie D. <laughs> what is that, Eli? Come on. That is like our cow moment. Okay. Did Carol clean up her house? Charlie didn't eat today. <laughs> Poor Charlie. <laughs> hey, come on. Okay. <laughs> Okay, beautiful, beautiful moment of sentences, but it didn't work as I imagined, right? En, en mi cabeza funcionó un listado de oraciones bien linda, vea. But it, it was good, right? I really like it, right? Carol cleaned her house. Carlo, Carol didn't eat a bread. Good. Poor Carol. She didn't eat anything. And Charlie didn't eat today. On the chat, I have Carol read a book. Carol, did Carol did the book? Okay, did Carol did the book? Mm, maybe not, right? Did Carol read the book? Yes. Carol cleaned last week. Carol goes to the game at night. Carol went to the game, right? She went. Did Carol clean up? Good. He didn't walk to church. Did Carol dancing in a stage? Did Carol dance? Because Carol, uh, in this case, you have did at the question, Arabella, you have did, and then the verb is going to be normal. And we have, did Carol stay at home? No, she didn't, right? She didn't stay at home. She was there. Thank you for the ones who were uh, writing on the board. I really appreciate that. So I have here a little story. And here, it is about some vacations. Miss, let's see. Let's see. Jennifer Alexandra, can you help me to read Laura? And Ruth Marielos, can you help me to read Erica? So it did go in anywhere last summer. Jeff, I did. My sister and went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Uh huh. Really? <clears throat> really? Who's next? Laura. <laughs> Really? Okay. Did you like it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We love it. Eat. Did you go out? I don't know how to pronounce it. Hiking? Hiking. 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 Gracias. Do you hiking? Do you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went white weather. Drafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Very good job. Thank you very much, girls. Here we have. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. So in this case, past tense questions that you can identify. Did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go anywhere last summer? Another one? Did you like it? Did you like it, right? Did you go anywhere last summer? 
Did you did like you it? Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Good. And in the answers, as you can see here, you have, did you go anywhere last summer? And she says, yes, I did. I did. Right? Yes, I did. This is a short form of answer. And then you give details, right? After you give the answer, you give details. My sister and I went to Arizona. That's the details of the answer. And it says, did you like it? And then she says, Oh, yes. We loved, it. we loved it, right? This is an intensifier. We loved it. It was fantastic. It was marvelous, right? Did you go hiking there? And she says, no, no, we, didn't. no we didn't. But then she clarifies a little bit and she says on this one, actually, we rode horses, right? You say no, but you tell me the complement of what happened. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. So these are the questions that we have been studying. And as you can see here on the question, my dear students, you have did as the auxiliary, then you have the subject, the normal verb and the complement, right? Did you go anywhere last summer? You have did, and then the verb is normal. If I ask you people, if I ask you about today, let's see, Eli Antonio, did you eat pupusas for breakfast today? Yes, I did, or no, I didn't? Yes, I did. Uh, Joanna, <laughs> did you drink coffee today? No, I don't. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <gasps> you didn't drink coffee? Really? Oh, my God. Let's see. Liana, did you drink coffee today? Yes, I did. Okay. Janet, did you cook dinner? Did you cook dinner? Uh, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. Arabella, did you clean your house? Arabella, did you clean your No, I don't clean. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Arabella, did you clean your house? No, I didn't. No. Didn't, I didn't clean. I didn't clean. Okay. And Ada, did you wash your clothes? Yes, I didn't. Yes, I didn't. Is it possible? Yes. It's like, yes. si, si no lo hice? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, no, I, I did. didn't. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Jennifer Alexandra. Did you check Facebook today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Raul Antonio, did you make a phone call today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Carlos Alberto, did you watch TV today? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Odilia Suleima, did you read a book today? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, no, I did. Ah, okay. No, I didn't. Juan Carlos, did you cook today? Uh, yes, I did. Very good. Let's see. Um, Ruth Marielos, did you dance today? I didn't, teacher. No, I didn't. You said, mm. no, I didn't. Hey, let me see. Lorena Sarai, did you drive a car? No, I didn't. Uh, Silvia Lisette, did you use the cell phone today? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, who am I missing? ¿Quién se me queda? ¿Quién no le he preguntado? I think 
I ask everybody. Okay, now I need you to ask me questions. Teacher, did you? Did you, did you stay at home? No, I didn't. I went to the office. Questions, questions. Teacher, did you? What did you do in your office? I I did many things. I organized photocopies. I organized classrooms for tomorrow. I um, sent emails. I had a meeting with the teachers. I organized everything for tomorrow. And I worked a lot <laughs> today. Okay. Questions, questions, questions. Thank you for the question, Juan Carlos. Huh? Sure. Did yes. you eat pupusas today? Mm, no, I didn't eat. I ate pupusas yesterday, but today ah, okay. I didn't. <laughs> but thank you very much for asking. Today they had the convivio navideño in the pupuseria, <laughs> so they didn't work. Okay, questions. Another question. Teacher, did you? What did flower, the pupusas, did you eat yesterday? <laughs> Cheese pupusas. Teacher, did you dry today? No, I didn't. My husband picked me up. <laughs> there was a lot of traffic today, but a lot of traffic. Yeah, Mr. Raul, question? Teacher, I did... Drink Coca Cola today. Did you? Did you drink Coca Cola today? Let me see. No, I didn't drink soda today. Only water. Yeah. Did you cook dinner? No, my mother cooked dinner for me today. <laughs> she is here in my house today, so she cooked for everybody. It was a very Teacher, nice moment. Did you chop today? A lot. <laughs> I talk every day. <laughs> I think uh, there is no day in my life when I don't talk. I talk a lot. <laughs> Carlos, yes? Question. Did you, did you exercise today? Oh yeah, I was late. <laughs> I had to. Yeah, I always say like, yo nunca corro, pero si me ven correr, corran. <laughs> because there is an emergency. <laughs> yeah, I was I was walking up and down, up and down. Because in, in the place that I work, my office is on the second floor. So the photocopy is in the first floor. And I was getting photocopies and I was like going up and down, up and down, up and down. That was horrible. Yeah, my computer is in my office. And so I have to send the, the printing and I have to go down, right? Mando la impresión, bajo. Y ahí voy, subo, bajo. It's really horrible. But Teacher, what, ¿cómo what se can dice I... terremoto? Ah, the earthquake. Yesterday. Earthquake, okay. Teacher, did you scare, scary or scared? Did you feel scared? Um, did, you, did you feel scared uh, with earthquake? Uh, yeah. Terremoto, me dijo. With the earthquake, uh huh. Yesterday? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Because the building was like, we, 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 we. And I said, oh, bueno, si me tiro, me va a caer encima. Si corro, me va a caer encima. Mejor que me quedo y les caemos encima a todos. <laughs> so it, it was a very scary moment. So, these are the way to make questions, people. You see, it was not really complicated to make questions and you were getting information, right? When you want to add extra information, you can add WH things to the questions. For example, I am going to give you a couple of examples. This is a, a, extra from the topic, but uh, I am going to, okay, let me erase this one. Imagine that we have this question. And it says, 
Did you eat breakfast today? This is a yes, no question, right? Teacher, desayuno ahora. Yes, I said. Yes, I did. And I can be, I can give you this answer. Yes, I did. But if you ask me, teacher, what did you eat for breakfast? In this case, you transform a simple question into an informative question. And I have to give you details. Ah, I had, I had beans and cream for breakfast. Okay. And in this one, I am not going to answer yes or no. I am going to give you details. And then if you say, aha, uh -huh, teacher, but where did you have breakfast? ¿Y dónde comió, teacher? Where did you eat? Where did you have breakfast? Ah, so you say, I had breakfast in my office. Okay, and teacher, I am giving you details. Cuando, yes. Cuando la question is con la WH, es it's una information. Larga. Yes, because these WH things are information questions. Por eso se llaman eh, preguntas informativas, because you get more information. En la primera solo le voy a decir yes or no. Cuando comienza con did, sin WH, es solo yes or no. Si ya le ponemos WH forms, ahí podemos preguntar dónde, cuándo, a qué hora, con quién, a qué hora, eh, dónde estaba. So you need more information. Say like, where did you eat breakfast? And if you tell me, teacher, who did you eat breakfast with? ¿Con quién comió, teacher? Who did you eat breakfast with? Solo, solín, solito. And you say, I ate breakfast alone. Okay? Because I was alone in the office. And then you can also add, what time, teacher? What time did you eat breakfast? What time did you eat breakfast, teacher? And in this case, on my answer, I am going to give you a specific moment of the day. And it says, I ate breakfast at 6.30 a.m. Okay. And then you can continue asking more and more questions. Y ahí pudieran seguirme preguntando acerca de todo el día. What did you do after breakfast, teacher? What places did you visit? What activities did you do? And then I can continue giving you more and more information. From one little question, I gave you four different ones. Okay. What other question could you create? ¿Qué otra pregunta podrían hacer con WH? Ahí les di cuatro ejemplos. ¿Qué otra podrían crear? Uh -huh. Be creative. How, how, did, how did you feel yesterday? How did you feel yesterday, right? How did you feel yesterday? This is, right? How did you feel yesterday? Yesterday, I felt very happy. How did you feel yesterday? Okay, this is not related to the breakfast, but is a WH question in the past. So, here you can continue creating more. The question that I always do when we start the class. The students, how was your day? What did you do? Now you can answer. Ahora ya me pueden contestar. Por ejemplo, en la siguiente clase ya me pueden decir, ah, teacher, I went to the bank. I worked. I drove. I listened to music, teacher. I play soccer, teacher. Now you can give me details about the things that you do on your everyday. And here I have a couple of examples of questions, right? Simple past, yes, no question. And it says, did you have a good summer? Did you play volleyball? Did Erica like her vacations? 
Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? And then you have the answers. If I ask you, Carlos Alberto, did you have a good summer? What is the answer? What is the answer? Did you have a good summer? Uh, yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You didn't have a good summer? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I had a great summer. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Did I? Uh, oh, see? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Bye. good. Did okay. you have a good summer? Did you summer? have a good summer? Uh, yes, yes I, I did. did. I, had a great... I had a great summer. Very good. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Let's see, Ruth Marielos, did you play volleyball? The no, I didn't, I played tennis. I played tennis, good. Let's see, Arabella, did Erica like her vacations? Um, did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. She liked it a lot. Uh, Eneida, did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? And it says no. Oh, the microphone, sweetie. I cannot listen to you. No te puedo escuchar. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, very good. Hello, dígame. Okay, very good. Buenas noches, clase de teacher Nati. <laughs> okay. Very good. En este momento, Eneida no le puede contestar. Está en clase. Let's work on this little exercise that I have here. Here we have some sentences for us to complete. And it says, did you have a good summer? Yes, I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I? I have. Yes, I did, you say. I have. I have a great summer. I just? Relax, 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 right? I just relax. What about the next one? You, anywhere last summer? Did you, did you right? Did you, we have the you already. Did you? Went. went. Did you went? Si ya tenemos el auxiliary. Ah, exactly, did you go? Si ya tenemos el auxiliar, el verbo, it's normal. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't, right? No, I didn't. I stayed. stayed. I stayed here. But my friends visited, visited me. And on the weekends, we went. We went, went, went out. We went out a lot. Good. The next one. You, any classes last summer? Did you, did you take? Did you take? Very good. Did you take? Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I take. I took. I took tennis lessons, and I. Played. 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 I played tennis every day. Joana Damaris, help me with the first one. Yo te voy a hacer la pregunta y tú contestas. Did you have a good summer? Number one. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I used to relax. I just. Okay, you say, I yes, I did. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I just relaxed. Okay. Uh, aquí no pasó nada, okay? Joanna, did you have a good summer? 
Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I just relaxed. Very good job. Fantastic pronunciation. I love it. <laughs> Carlos Alberto, did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here, but my friends visited me and on the weekend we went out a lot. Okay, now you are going to tell me all the story. Ahora me lo va a decir todo corrido. Okay. No, I didn't. I stay here, but my friends visited me and on the weekends we went out a lot. Okay. Una sola historia. No, I didn't. I stay here, but my friends visited me and on the weekends we went out a lot. <clears throat> Carlos Alberto, did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stay here, but my friends visit, visited me and on the weekends we, we, we went out a lot. <laughs> okay, a lot better. That was a lot better, right? Ahí vamos mejorando. Eso es fluency, fluency. Así ya no me corta las ideas. Juan Carlos, <laughs> did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons uh, and I played tennis every day. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and I played tennis every day. Okay, let's do it again. Juan Carlos, did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and I played tennis every day. Excellent. You see, you sound different and you sound a lot better. Esa es la diferencia. Esa es la diferencia. You did it. Uh, you did it a lot better. Now, let's go on the next one. I have another story here. Number four. Number four, and it says. Number four. Is this English last summer? Did you speak? Did you speak English last summer? Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. No, I didn't, right? No, I didn't. But I read English books. I read, I read English books and I watched. Watch. I watch. English movies, what? right? Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, Did you but I English read English summer? books and no, I watched I English but movies. I read English books and I watch English movies. Okay. I sound beautiful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, oh, oh, Janet, you don't have headphones, right? No tienes audífonos, Janet. No tienes los audífonos puestos. Hola, teacher. Eh, tengo casi congelada mi pantalla. No me está sirviendo mucho. Um, solo lo último he podido ver que ha hecho la número cuatro, pero no tengo súper congelada la pantalla. No sé si me puede ver por la cámara, pero yo la tengo it. congeladísima. Yeah, I, I can see you. Yeah, I... yeah, entonces ya, ya entendimos el feedback. Don't worry, Janet. Don't worry. Eh, si quiere, eh, puede apagar su cámara un ratito para que le dé un poquito más de recursos al internet y tal vez se le descongela la pantalla. Pruebe con, quitando la cámara un ratito. Ok. So, Eli, did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English books and I watched English movies. I watch. I watch. I watch. Okay. <clears throat> Did you speak English last summer, Ellie? No, I didn't, but I read English books and, and I watched English movies. I watch. Mm. I watch. <laughs> Good. You see, it is better. <clears throat> no, I didn't, but I read English books and I watch English movies. Ellie, did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English books I and I watched English movies. Very good job. You did it better. Very nice. Very nice. You see, you sound a lot better when you are very fluent. So I have here a couple of questions, right? 
I have here a couple of questions and you are going to help me to answer them. I need you to choose one of them and I need you to ask the question to someone in the group. You are going to say, for example, uh, Joanna, you can say, uh, Carlos, did you go anywhere interesting last summer? And Carlos is going to give us an answer, okay? And then Carlos can ask Eli, for example, Eli, did you play any games last summer? En las vacaciones de verano, en el verano pasado, right? And then you can ask different questions. I am going to start with Eli. Eli, did you see any movies last summer? Um, yes, did. Yes, I did. I yes, watched. I did. Um, yes, I did. Um, movies, uh, uh, action. I watch action movies. Movies. Okay, so you have to be a little bit more specific. Joanna, ask a question to Carlos. Uh, did you, did you meet, meet any interested people last, last summer? summer? Good. Did you meet any interested people last summer? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And in, in that case, you can be a little bit more specific. You say, no, I didn't. I didn't meet anybody. No conocí a nadie, right? I didn't meet anyone. Carlos, ask a question to another person in the group. Pasa la pregunta, alguien más. A ver. Uh, Leana. Leana, ajá. Uh -huh. Did you play any games? Last summer? Last summer. Yes, I did. I played soccer last summer. Very good job, Liana. A question for another person. Um, let me see. A Raul. Raul, uh -huh. uh, Did you meet any interesting people last summer? Raúl? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Huh. Raúl, another question for uh, Ruth Marielos. The exercise or play in any sport? Ruth, did you exercise no. or play any sport? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, Ruth, ask another question to another person in the group. Uh, Juan Carlos. Did you anywhere interesting last summer? Did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Um, no, I didn't. I worked all last summer. <laughs> I worked. Right? No, I didn't. I worked. Tell me, people, all the students, and this is for everybody. Did you take any pictures on your last vacations? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Did you work yesterday? Yes, yes I, I did. did. Yes, did, I did you have fun this morning? No, I didn't. I didn't. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Did you see any movie yesterday after class? I, I did. No. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. What movie? ¿Qué película vieron? No, I didn't. The Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch. The Grinch. Did you eat any new food today? Did you eat any new food today? No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. Only the same food all the time. Okay, before I forget, I am going to call the attendance. Okay, antes que nada suceda, le voy a pasar lista. 
And then we're going to finish with the last exercise that I have ready for today. And let me see, let me see, before I forget. I know this is not mine. This is mine. Hey, and Alejandro, and Claudita. I haven't listened to any of them. Se me hace raro no oírlo. Alejandro Jovel is not here today, huh? Ana Elizabeth? Present. Thank you very much. Arabella? Carlos Alberto? Your teacher. Carmen Vanessa? Claudia Iri? Denis Eliseo? Eh, Eli Antonio? Present. Eneida Verónica? Present teacher. Janet? Jennifer Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Joanna Damaris. Present. Juan Carlos. Here teacher. Liana. Present. Lorena. Marvin. Present. Odilia. Raúl Antonio. Present teacher. Ruth Marielos. Here, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Georgina. And Silvia Lisset. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's finish with the last exercise that I have for today. Let me go back here. On this last exercise we are going to do today, we are going to jump a little bit on the practice of a little bit of reading, right? Here we have Kelly, Robert, and Erin. Kelly uh, says, I had a great weekend and I went to my best friend's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. From this little paragraph, people, is there any new word or new vocabulary for you? ¿Hay algún vocabulario nuevo, una palabra que no conozcamos? Wedding. Wedding. Yes, the wedding, mm -hmm. boda. boda. Another question? Ah, the wedding planner, boda. The wedding planner, huh? <laughs> Any new words? Wonderful. Wonderful, fantastic, beautiful. Mm. Meal is comida, right? Sirvieron una fantastica comida. O oh, sirvieron una comida fantastica. Okay. Husband? Husband is husband. The, the boy, right? The husband. The wife and the husband. La novia y el novio. La esposa, in this case, the wife and the husband, el esposo. Any other one? Solo del primer párrafo, teacher. Only, right, well, if you have the second one, that's okay. Okay, este, donde dice, I had an awful weekend. I had an awful weekend, okay. Awful, you have terrible, horrible, awful. Es más allá de horrible. It's like, no teacher, you see? Me dolé el pie, me dolí el estómago, tenía tos. Awful. Awful, okay, gracias. Awful, it's like more than horrible. Okay, and the second one says, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. Se quedó el carro. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. So the concert was horrible. And the last paragraph that we have here, it says, I had an interesting weekend. 
I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Cloud. Tienda de campaña. Then we built a fire, una fogata, cooked dinner and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. Agarré un pez. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Questions? New vocabulary? Lot. Lot. Muchos. A Le lot. Left. Uh, where is it? We left. Left. We left on Saturday. Nos fuimos el sábado. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. Nos fuimos el sábado y manejamos hasta el campamento. Left, que no significa izquierda. No. In this case, when you say left and right, yes. But in this case, left is the past tense of leave. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we have, to, we have to check on the context, right? Si yo le digo, turn left, ahí sí, cruce a la izquierda. But if I say, we left to Santa Ana yesterday, no fuimos. Right. The same, uh, but different meaning. Uh, we put up, put up the, the tent. We put up the tent. La armamos. Put up is to assemble everything. And then, boop, Arma. build it up. Armar. We put up the tent. Then we built a fire, right? We built a fire significa que pusieron los tronquitos, le hicieron el fuego, lo soplaron. We built a fire, right? We cooked dinner and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really Picture. like camping, but I love it now. Uh -huh. We left at the beach. Uh -huh. We left to the beach. To the beach. Right? No, fuimos a la playa. Sí. We left. Acabo de fish. I caught a fish. Agarré un pez. I caught a fish. When you put the, the, the fish line, and then you say, oh, I have one. And then you get one fish. I caught a fish. Caught means atrapar. Yo atrapé o pesqué un pez. I, I caught I a fish. A lot. I learned a lot. Aprendí un montón. I learned a lot. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. What is the purpose of me showing you these three stories about the weekend? Because you are going to your weekend. Ustedes van para su fin de semana. And on Monday, I am going to tell you how was your weekend. And you are going to tell me a short story about your weekend. Okay? Para el lunes, vamos a crear una historia chiquita acerca de cómo fue su fin de semana. ¿Qué hicieron? What activities did you do? So that's why I show you these three examples, okay? I am going to send you the picture of the examples for you to have it ready for Monday, okay? Teacher, On Monday... ¿Qué días, ¿Qué días estudiamos? Monday and Tuesday only. Okay. And that's it. Ya me quieren abandonar, vea. <laughs> no. Vacation, vacation, you say. Okay, I will send you the picture on your chat. Monday is the last class. Tuesday is oral presentations. So we are done. We are over. So my dear students, I am going to send you the picture. Prepare your little paragraph for Monday. You are going to share about your weekend. How was it? What did you do? Okay. So prepare it. There you have the three examples. Have a fantastic night. Enjoy your weekend. And I am going to see you on Monday for the next class. See you, teacher. You. See you yeah. on Monday. Bye-bye. Have a good bye -bye. weekend. Bye-bye. Weekend.